Today in GTA 5, I'll step into the shoes of SCP-049, also known as the Plague Doctor. Today, SCP-049 will venture into the town of Grapeseed, looking for subjects plagued with the mysterious pestilence. After attracting some attention, the SCP Foundation will quickly be alerted to the presence of the Plague Doctor. They'll attempt to transport and contain the SCP at one of their nearby facilities. If you want to be in my next GTA video and join the Vada community, make sure to join my Discord, the link is in the description box down below. If you end up enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, as we're on the road to hit 700,000 subscribers. Day 34. The subject is almost free of the pestilence. I can no longer see the disease running through its veins. A few more touches, and he shall be reanimated. Yes, just a few more touches, my friend, and you shall be free of the pestilence. I'll bring you back to the land of the living. Fear not, because I am here to help. Do not resist the medicine. The subject is ready. I should be able to reanimate him. He's almost free of the disease that plagued him. Another successful test. This is the last touch. The final step in the cure. Just one more needle and you'll be free of the pestilence. <sighs> you can get up now and follow me. We've got more work to do. Follow me, my subject. We must head into town. There is plenty more disease that needs our attention. Down of grapeseed shall suffice. Follow me, my minion. You are but a living proof of my success. We are on the outskirts of grapeseed. I can feel it in my bones. This town is plagued with pestilence. Our job has only just started. We need to cure more subjects to rid the world of the disease. Maybe this is a start. Seems abandoned. Deserted almost. Maybe the pestilence has made it here already. Lost cock. I shall make a note of that. That's a lot of unnecessary commotion and noise. Subject displays no sign of intelligent life. He might be plagued with the pestilence. Must be some kids messing about. Hey, yo, yo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at him. Hey, he's whoa. just messing about the kids. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hey, what do you need? Oh, How are oh, you, sir? Get, get your free soda. Free soda? How are yeah. you, sir? I do not quite understand. What do you mean you can't? Oh, they got one of those fucking voice things. You know those Macs? They're, oh, they're yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah, like, yeah. must be some rich guy, yeah. sir. Test subject. Displays no signs of intelligent life. Interesting. Hey, do you want some? Do you want some chips? Do you want some chips? You got donuts. Interesting behavior displayed by one of the subjects. I don't know what to make of it. Could it be pestilence, incompetence, or stupidity? Hard to tell. Um, is that man okay? He's perfectly fine. He's he looks free a bit, um, of the pestilence. What's the pestilence, sir? It's a scientific term for a disease. Uh, sir, I don't think there's any disease except from- Hey, just leave him. He's just messing about. He's just messing about. Yeah, sir, you- uh, Please leave, because you seem no, a no, bit- No, 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 It's cool, it's cool. Slum, just come in. Interesting. Very suspicious. Subject yeah. appears to be confused. Maybe concussed. Sir, get, get behind the car. Hard to tell. We must move on. Our search for the pestilence continues. Subject appears to be- Slightly obese. Could potentially suggest that the pestilence has gotten hold of his body. If that's the case, he must be purged of the disease. I don't know what to think of the strange behavior exhibited here. Three cows following a human, as if they almost understand him, are almost connected to him. Could it be the pestilence? In both human and animal, that's something I haven't seen before. It 
come in. Hey, Need some help? Lads, Halloween isn't, yeah. yeah, man, Halloween's like a couple of months ago. Yeah. What is this Halloween that you speak of? Oh, well, it's like a, like a, uh, like a Thanksgiving people dress up in costumes and... Just run around, you know? Just have fun, get candy. Costumes. Yeah, Halloween isn't yet. Candy. Jesus Christ, man, are you alright? That's an interesting development. Hey, I think he, this guy needs a hospital. He's fine. His mind and body is free of the pestilence. I did it myself. Pestilence? Yeah. Is that a... My brother kind of some pest, man. Is that a new thing? Give, what the heck? Give back to the, the community. Alright, hold on. I'm a... Well, I'm not too sure if he was really a nice man, because he did kind of... Interesting. Yeah. Um, I don't understand what the problem seems to be. We must conduct more research. We need to narrow it down to one subject. Is a, is a different that being name. said, being Kanye East's brother, Kanye Northeast. Hey, officers! Officers! Hold on. Hold hey, hold officers! On. We the owner of the shop. Is this the guy? Walking yeah, officer, with this that's guy him. Right here. Sir, may I talk uh, to you? What seems to be the problem, officer? Well, we got some calls about you acting a little suspicious around the area. I was merely conducting scientific research, observing, looking for pestilence. I'll deal with it. Um, what's this pestilence you're talking right about? You're gonna have to hold. I don't think you are of a sound mind to understand and comprehend the concept of what pestilence is. Are you an academic officer? Um... I don't believe so. Why are you in that costume? What's this concept of a costume you keep referring to? And Halloween? Your outfit is quite... It's it's quite abnormal. It's a little weird. It's like summer right now. I don't know Halloween passed like months ago. May I ask what you, you're doing over here and who's this guy that's right here next to you? I am conducting scientific and medical research. We're looking for subjects to help rid of the pestilence. This right here is one of my subjects. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. The pestilence. 34 days in the making. I've managed to bring him back. Free his mind and body. Um. Officer, uh, do you mind if I you ask any... you a question? Um, sure. How have you been feeling lately? I've been feeling fine, why? You seem to display signs of a runny nose, rosiness oh. around the cheeks. Your ears are awfully pale, knees weak, arms are heavy. There is vomit on the sweater. Is that your mom's spaghetti? Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just took that out of a song, sir. And I am feeling a little out of the blue today. Um, great observation. Are you perhaps? A doctor? Yes. Yeah, can I speak to this guy over here? Your so-called subject? As far as I'm aware, he doesn't talk anymore. Um, buddy, buddy. Psst. Hey, come on. Um, um, did you do anything right. to this man? You drugged him or any anything? No. Are you on any drugs? No. Okay, well, um, can you take off the mask? So we can get a... Facial recognition? That is physically impossible, I'm afraid. What do you mean it's physically impossible? It is part of my body. Um, Would I you mind to come down with us to the station to ask you a few Am questions? Am I under arrest, officer? No, you're being um, detained. You're just being detained for now. What if I Until we refuse? Then we may have to use aggressive force. Would not want to do that at all. And so be it. I am all yours. Alright. Let's head down to the station. So what's the reason for me being detained? Your buddy over here is looking pretty messed up. We might have to give him some medical attention. And we're not sure if you yes. did it. Are you questioning my work? Uh, your work? Yes. I brought him back from the other side. Uh, um, um, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I don't know what to say either. Uh, are you are you are you sure you're not on any drugs? I am positive. All right, follow me inside. 
with me, my subject. All right, we're just gonna have to put you in a cell for now. Just a holding cell, just for now. All right, you just go in there and we'll have your buddy on the other one. Please keep him safe. He's extremely valuable to my research. So, what's up with your friend over here? Uh, so, you said he can't talk and you brought him back from the other side, correct? That is correct. I haven't figured out a way to make my subjects talk again. Um, so how is he, you're saying that you brought him back from the dead? That is one way of putting it. Okay, he's got like really big lacerations on his face. Um, did you hurt this man in any way? No, I merely cured him. He was going to die of the pestilence. I brought him back to the land of the living. The pestilence? What's this pestilence you keep talking about? What is it, some type of plague, disease, or something? What are we talking about, sir? That is one way of putting it. It is the disease that has plagued this world for far too long. And I'm here to cure it. One subject at a time. Um, while we got here, while we detained you there at the grape seed, I saw you were carrying that notebook. What you been writing down in there? Um, sir? It's simply medical research. Uh, can we see this notebook? Can we, yeah, can we see it? I'm afraid that's impossible. Uh, what? Um, I think we're just gonna have you drug tested, cause I have no yeah. idea what this pestilence thing you're talking about. It's not been clear to me. You're just, you just tested on some, like, probably random civilian. You could be a big threat. I'm not entirely sure. So we're gonna have to run some tests on you and your buddy over here. A threat. So yes. why are you scared, officer? I am helping humanity rid of the disease. Okay, well, can we take off that mask so we can see, you know, who's behind it, you know? Like I said, that is physically impossible. Am I going to have to get in there and take it off myself, or? Please do. Um, you want to try? So, I mean, I'll, I'll go. Come on. Don't worry. Holy shit! Whoa, what the fuck? I am merely saving him. Put it down, put it down, put the knife down! <coughs> I am here to cure him. What the fuck? Don't worry. Oh. I'll be fine. <gasps> Holy fuck! Do not resist the cure. The fuck? I'm gonna bring you Venom, are you alright? And get rid of your pestilence. Beasting. It was that noise. Inside your body. Fuck. Officer. Put it down, put it down! Him. Get away from him! Everything Get away from fine. him. I am simply curing him. Get away from him. This is your last warning. I need to take him back to the ranch. Where I can are you? conduct my medical research. Sir, back away from him. I'm not going to give you another chance. Are you threatening me? Yes, sir. I'm going to need you to back away. Holy shit. Back. Test subject. Sir? Stop the officer. What the fuck? I've called medical hey, research to conduct. Back up, I'm warning you. Back up! That's an inconvenience. Holy shit! Sir, get away! His body is still warm. Sir! I shall be Holy able fuck. to get rid of the pestilence, estering inside, plaguing his mind and body. What the fuck? He shall be set free again once our research is conducted. What the fuck? Put your hands up! Hands, hands, hands! Help, help! Hands up! I've got nothing to hide. I'm merely conducting research. Stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. There appear to be a lot of men at the police station. They're interfering with my research. Hey, get, get rid of your zombie, bro. Get rid of your zombie. Don't worry. He won't hurt you. Unless I tell him to. Oh, well, that's good. Sir, you're interfering with my research. Oh, you could do a lot more research at our facility, so if you want to come with us. Facility? Is that a medical yes. research facility? Um, yes. You'll be able to do your experiments, um, however you want to. There's going to be lots of people there you're going to be able to experiment on, so if you want to, uh, you know, come with us. I understand. Please, could you transport my subject to the facility? And make sure right. not a drop of blood is spilled. It's essential. Alright. 
follow me. We're gonna go to our vehicle. Thank you for your cooperation. I got medical researcher like myself. Could you tell these guys to keep it down? I'm finding it really hard to come. Sir, can you please? Yeah, sir, it's very hard to understand. So, can you just go outside, please, Mister God? You go outside. There's glass for a reason. So, just a few questions I need to ask you. Yes. What is your business here? What do you do? I cure the pestilence. What is? I thought I told you this already. What is the pestilence, if you would? Uh, Best way to describe explain. it. It's a disease that plagues the mind and body of innocent souls. I must cure them. Sir, can I ask? See the zombie-looking person in your... I we can Why do you refer to my test subject as a zombie? Because, sir, uh, he matches the description. Of a zombie, sir. Have you cured this man for your disease that you call it? Yes. Have you cured him? He's perfectly healthy again. Well, sir, it looks like you're not help. You're not helping them. It looks like you're killing them. You saw him move around. Look at him, sir. He's barely. He's free he's, of the pestilence. He's barely alive, sir. But alive, nevertheless. I don't understand your questions. I need someone more competent to have a. Scientific discussion. Speak to my head scientist, sir. Well, why is it that you question my methods? I'm merely helping them, freeing their mind and body of the pestilence. The medical staff at this facility seem to display zero intelligence in the medical field. Mr. Scientist, I need to speak to you. Right here. And, and you, questioning. and you, sir. And you. No, 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 come out here. I need to speak both of you. Incompetence seems to be a plague of this facility. A new researcher. Hello there, 049. Sorry for the uh, inconvenience. There seems to be a miscommunication within the uh, scientific department. You call that a scientific department? Your questions were meaningless. Well, now, uh, anything specific that you'd like them to call you? Or is 049 just as good? What's 049? 049, that's the, well, I guess you could call label to be given to you as the uh, SCP Foundation. There are multiple, well, people somewhat like you in a containment just to protect the world. Understood? Protect it from what? Pestilence? Uh, you could say that. Alright, it's time. It's going to be 1749. It's going to be a Saturday. Uh, it's going to be Dr. Ham here. So, first question for you is that bag that I've seen you carry around, what is a. Uh, well, what's up with that? I've seen you pull objects out that which really wouldn't be able to fit in it. What's a. Uh... I simply store my medical equipment in there, which helps me carry out my research mm -hmm. experiments. I've seen you take things out of three times the size of you know, the bag itself. What I see you doing is, is completely impossible. Or maybe you're just limited of mind. You need to expand your horizons. Open up your research. Right. To be able to comprehend and understand Sorry. my methods. A so-called scientist at this facility. And to question my methods. They don't fully comprehend what I do. What I'm trying to tell you, Ophanai, what you're doing is wrong. You're killing these innocent animals, these innocent people who have nothing wrong to do with them. You're ruining their lives, their family, their friends. Their body was plagued with pestilence. We ran multiple tests. There was no plague in the first place. It was it was healthy. We ran tests. There was no plague in the first place. That is simply not possible. I don't think what you, you understand the scope of this. Look, from what I'm getting at this, you think there's a plague in this world, but I'll be honest with you, I think you're the plague itself. How dare you refer to me as the plague? I am the savior you're the one of this earth. Th there is no such thing as this, this pestilence you're talking about. I don't think you understand what you're doing. I'm not exactly sure if you display signs of stupidity. I'm the smartest person you will come across here. Lead scientist, Dr. Hams, you may have heard me introduce myself first time. All the research that I've done into you, you're doing nothing Do correct. you question my methods, Dr. Ham? Nothing. <coughs> it's quite clear to me. 
but he was full of pestilence and incompetence and had a victim of this foul disease. We must conduct more research. All of them seem to question my methods. It's quite clear to me that they don't have the necessary knowledge required to deal with this disease or get rid of this disease plaguing your body. You'll be free again and alive. There you go. You seem to be fine again. There's more work to do. This facility is full of the pestilence. Where did they go? Let me set you free, my test subject. You need to get rid of the pestilence. Ah, a monkey. Another subject for testing. But first, we cannot let pestilence spread across this facility. We must act fast. Lay down your weapons. Do not be afraid. You shall succumb to my touch. Lay down your weapon and let me set the body free of the disease. Let me help you out. You'll be fine. Just succumb to the touch. The disease in the facility seems to run rampant. Plenty of subjects. Plenty of tests. We shall set these people free. Free them of the disease. Do not resist. I'm here to help you. Let's talk. Let's talk this out. What, what, what's this project for? Can you tell me? Yeah. I'm trying to cure you of the pestilence. How do you know we have the pestilence? Look at your nose. Rosy cheeks. What? Pale ears. <laughs> Don't resist. You'll be free. We've got more work to do. Why did you do that to my subject? It took me days to bring him back to life. Free him of the pestilence, the disease that was festering inside of his body. I'm going to cure you. Just stand down. No. No. Do not be afraid. There is no need to run. Oh. We're here to help you. Let me go. Oh. Run. Run. Listen, listen, listen. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I am listening. I'm very intrigued about your research, right? And your cure. Can you tell me a little bit more? The pestilence. It has plagued humanity for way too long. We're here to stop it. And you display signs of it. <coughs> we must find the rest before this disease spreads outside of this facility. There's plenty more work to do. Don't worry, you'll be free again. Your body will be free of the pestilence. This is very unnecessary. What you're doing right now is only gonna please, please, delay please, the inevitable. Please, please. I think this facility is purged of the pestilence. We must roam free. Our work has only just begun. <laughs>